Hi, so this video is basically about my favorite TV shows, as the title says, so you probably you know, realized what it was about before I told you to, so I didn't really need to tell you what it was about, but I did. So, um, yeah, this video is about my favorite TV shows. Um, I watch videos online and on TV, um, as most people do, so I will talk about the shows that I watch online first. Um, so yeah, the first show that I watch online, it's in alphabetical order, is Awkward. Um, it's an MTV show that I just... I watched the whole season, it came out before, I watched, and it's on hiatus at the moment, I watched the whole season a couple, like a month or two ago, and I really liked it, it was a really good series, it surprised me, it's a really good, like, it's kind of awkward, it's called awkward, but it's awkwardly funny, um, and yeah, it was surpri it surprised me by how good it was, like, I kept on watching episode after episode, because it was just, it was a good show, and I, I wanted to see what happened, and yeah. Um, the next show that I watch is Covert Affairs, it's on hiatus at the moment. I like the show a lot, it's one of my very few kind of crime solving things because I don't really like CSI and shows like that where um, like it's the, the outlay, the outlay? The outline of the show is very like basic, like it's always, you know, someone dies or is murdered or whatever and then they get evidence, so they solve the crime, and then they think it's this person, but it's actually this person, and then they figure out that, the, that it's that person, and the crime gets solved, and it's finished. I don't really like shows like that. I like shows where, like, the episodes connect, and Covert Fear does that, so I watch it. Um, so yeah, so I don't watch a lot of crime-solving shows. I like to watch drama. Most of it. Most of my shows are drama shows, as you will see. Um, the next show that I watch is Grey's Anatomy. I like Grey's Anatomy a lot. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's a really good show. I kind of, there was a point where I was kind of tired of it because it's been on for a long time and I've watched, watched most of the episodes. Um, but this new season is, is really good and I have watched all the episodes, so yeah. I like watching that show. Um, the next show that I watch is New Girl. I'm kind of iffy about the show at the moment because a lot of people recommended it to me and they said that it was amazing and, you know, it was really, really funny. And the ads kind of showed it, you know, in that kind of way, that it was really funny and adorable, as they say. Um, and then I watched it, and I was kind of disappointed because it wasn't as funny and as great as I thought it would be. I kind of had high expectations, which kind of, you know, ruins things a lot, but... Oh well, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep on watching it just because I'm not sure if if it's worth it. I'll, I'll give it a try, like, I'll give it a little bit longer, but yeah, it's not as funny as I thought it would be. It is kind of adorable, but, yeah, I don't really go for adorable shows. Um, the next show that I watch is Nikita. Um, Nikita is one of those shows that I've tried to stop watching so many times, just because I've never really loved it, um, or I've never known that I loved it. I really use the word love very carelessly. I really like the show Nikita, that's what I should say. I don't love it, obviously. I save love for things that I really love. Um, like, I couldn't live, or I couldn't not live. I could live without Nikita. Um, so that means that I don't love it. Yeah, I really need to stop being careless about the word love, and I think a lot of people do that. But anyway, I'm going off, top I'm going off topic now. Um, I really like the show Nikita, and I just decided to, you know, to like it completely, because I try to stop watching it, as I said, a lot. Um, but I would always watch the next episode and then I would just like it so much and it would be so entertaining and, you know, so, it would keep me on the edge of my seat and then I would just have to watch the next one and the next one and the next one. And so yeah, I've decided that I'm not going to stop watching it and I just like it, so yeah. Um, the next show that I watch is Teen Wolf. Um, I live in Sydney and there were two shows last year that were very heavily advertised. The first one, which was advertised way more than any other show, was, um, Underbelly Razor. It was like advertised for like six months or something, like every day there would be an advertisement, like six months before the time, and it was ridiculous. And then the second show that was advertised a lot was Teen Wolf. Um, and that kind of, you know, I wasn't going to watch it, but they advertised it so much and it was there all the time that I was just like, I'll give it a try. Um, I hope that people from TV don't do this, I don't think they will, um, because that'll kind of encourage them to, you know, push forward with that bombardment of advertisement of the same thing over and over again, which is really, really annoying. So yeah, I hope they don't realize that it kind of worked on me. Um, I don't know if it works on other people, but yeah. I watched Teen Wolf, it was surprisingly funny and interesting, and it's a really good show, I would recommend it to you. Um, yeah, it's on hiatus at the moment though, so. 
The next show that I watch is The Secret Circle. Um, I watched this because I had read the book series before, mention of books. Um, I had read the book series Battle J. Smith, The Secret Circle, it's a trilogy. Um, yeah, I had read that so I wanted to watch the show because I read the books. And it's a pretty good show. Um, it's not amazing, but I, I'm not up to date with it at the moment. I've only watched like the first 10, I think, episodes. So normally a show is not, normally most of the shows that I watch are not really good the first couple of episodes and then they start to get better. And I feel like this has the potential to be a really good show and I, I like that whole kind of genre of like vampires and witches and werewolves, obviously, because I watch Teen Wolf and other shows like that. So yeah, I like this show and I know that a lot of people watch it and a lot of people like it. Like, you know, I've heard and seen a lot of people who love the show, and I, I had no idea, but I like it as well, so. Um, yeah, the next show that I watch is White Collar. Um, it's another one of those kind of crime-solving shows, and I like it a lot just because it's kind of, um, because he's a bad guy. The main character, you know, he was a criminal, and now he's turned into a good guy. I really like the first season and the second season, um, but it's kind of iffy at the moment because it's turning, it's not as as good, I think, as the seasons before it. I will see how it goes though, so yeah. Anyway, those are the shows I watch online. Um, the shows that I watch on TV, um, I watch The Big Bang Theory whenever it comes on because it's a great show and I watch it all the time. Um, if you live in Australia, you would know about Home and Away. I don't know if other people will. Um, but yeah, I kind of watch that. I, I go on and off it sometimes just because, I don't know. I never really like to watch a show that comes on every day because it's a bit overwhelming for me and I don't know, I feel like it's a commitment and I don't want to commit my time to home in a way. Um, and yeah, also it's kind of boring sometimes. Yeah, I am watching it at the moment though. Um, another show that I watch is, um, some new shows that I'm watching are Two Broke Girls, um, Suburgatory and Revenge. I really like Two Broke Girls, um, it's, it's, it's funny but it's, you know, it's funny, it's not as hilarious as I, as I thought it would be, like it's not a laughing kind of the whole way through, but I do laugh a lot and I like it, and yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna keep on watching it. Another show that I'm watching is Suburgatory, I really like that show, I was really surprised when it was half an hour, only half an hour, like, yeah, I th kind of thought it was ridiculous that it was so short and I wanted it to be longer, but anyway, I really like that show. And then Revenge, Revenge is the thing that I've been most excited to watch, um, and it just came out in Australia, they kind of like you know, kept us on our seats waiting for it because there were so many commercials for it, just like for Teen Wolf and for the other one that I said I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, I really like the show. Um, it's really, yeah, it's a really good show. There's another siren. Can you hear the siren? This is the second or third time in one of my videos that there has been a siren. I keep on saying that Sydney is a safe place, but you're not helping by all the sirens. Um, yeah, Revenge is a show that I really like and it's definitely going to be one of my favorite shows. It might have been come into first place one of these days, but I've only watched like three, two or three episodes, I think. So, yeah. And then my favorite show, so Revenge is the favorite, my favorite show that I watch on TV. Um, and The Big Bang Theory, I've always loved. Um, loved. I really liked The Big Bang Show Theory. I really liked The Big Bang Theory a lot. Um, but yeah, the show that I like the most, I watch online. Um, and yeah, I've always, it's always kind of been my favorite show to watch is The Vampire Diaries. Um, I had read The Vampire Diaries series from Al Jason before I watched the series. Does that make sense? I said series twice. Um, but yeah, I, that's why I watched the TV series and it was a really good show. Um, the first kind of six episodes were kind of iffy for me, but then it got really, really good and it's just continued to get bitter and bitter, and I like all the people in it. It's just a really good show, and it is my favorite show, so out of all the shows that I've just said, I would recommend that one the most to you, obviously, because it is my favorite show. So yeah, those are my TV shows that I watch, and those are my that is my favorite show, um, The Vampire Diaries. Um, if you want to tell me your favorite shows, or if you have any shows that you would like to, to suggest to me, um, please do, um, leave them in the comment section below. As always, there is all the information that you need, or if you want, in the bottom bar below. Um, and yeah, it's been really fun filming this video, it's been kind of weird, I feel kind of loopy, if I can say that, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's really hot today, if you can tell. It's really sunny, 
I don't have the lighting for me, okay, in this. But yeah, it's really hot today. Just went off topic. Okay, so yeah, that was my video for you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.